What's this? What's this? The Carnival Mardi Gras. What's this? The Half Carolina Spa. What's this? I can't believe my eyes are roller coaster in the middle of the ocean. What's this? That's right, everyone. The time has come to show you the walkthrough ship tour of the Carnival Mardi Gras. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe as if you haven't, as we're trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. And like the video, turn on the notification bell, share the video, leave us a comment, and I hope you enjoyed. So let's start our tour from the top, deck 19, the ultimate playground where we have the mini golf, you can play as much as you want, you can challenge your friends and family, and it's so much fun! The mini golf is a fun for all and is included in the cruise fair. Talking about fun, how about plunging into waterworks where they have this amazing water park featuring three water slides, one orange one that drops you, the blue one that you go facing forward and the yellow one. They also have this splash zone for the little ones. And it's also fun for all included in the cruise fair. Now let's talk big and about some innovation. We have the first roller coaster on a ship cruise and that's right i'm talking about bolt the ultimate sea coaster here on the carnival mardi gras strap in and zoom your motorcycle style speed machine around an open air course high above the sea level this ride has an additional cost you have to reserve using the carnival hub app and the weight limit is 300 pounds For more information on both the Ultimate Sea Coaster, we have another video all about this amazing ride, so please don't forget to check that one out. The fun must continue, and are you up for a challenge? We have the ropes course, this fun for all activity also included with the ship fair, and where they have this amazing zip line part of the course where you can do as many times as you want and I've done a few times which by the way you can check another video on our channel all about the ropes course where you can get all the information you need and see how much fun I had on it They have some games to play around the area and talking about playing games they have the sports court where you can play basketball, volleyball, all kinds of sports. And there is also a jogging track where you can do your exercise and I see a guy coming on the opposite direction of the track, he must be British. <laughs> Like I said, uh, there's this yellow triangle pointed out the right direction, so... Some comfy and beautiful furniture around where you can rest after you're jogging. Talking about beauty and comfort, we're heading to Loft 19, where you can stay for an additional cost and enjoy all the perks of this exclusive area. Guests staying at the Carnival XL level have complimentary access to this area. And you can rent one of these beautiful cabanas for the day, or you can also choose to rent for the whole length of your cruise. And they also have this beautiful Infinity Whirlpool where you can have some privacy, spend the day, relax. It's so amazing. Music 
I just feel fantastic and fancy walking through this whole area. There are some more cabanas on the other side of the deck and walking towards the front of the ship we have more cabanas and a beautiful view. Did I mention the breathtaking view? That's right, we are on the highest part of the ship, deck 19, and we can appreciate the ocean just like this. That's right, this is what you get from Loft 19. Heading down to deck 18, right under the loft 19, we have another exclusive area, the Serenity, which is an adult retreat, and you can stay here and hang out at no extra cost, but remember, adults only. They have whirlpools on both sides of this area. Also, lots and lots of chairs where you can enjoy the sun. A salad bar, along with the bar where you can grab your drink and enjoy the pool. With no kids around. And just like Loft 19, the Serenity has this beautiful lounging area where you can enjoy the ocean and talk and relax on these comfortable chairs. It's just a beautiful view. Now on deck 17 we have the Circle C, a place where the teens aged 12, 14 can hang out, watch some movies, play some video games, and have fun. And this game station is just beyond incredible. Who wouldn't want to be here? Talking about games, right next to the Circle C we have the Warehouse, a place full of interactive games, arcades, 3D games, so much fun for an additional cost. Now we're at the Lido, the best part of the ship in my opinion. We have some live music during the day, sometimes at night, the main pool, some bars around, some food places around, and I'm gonna show you now. Now we are at the Red Frog, the best bar at the Lido and we have this part of the bar on deck 17 and we have more of the red frog down on deck 16 and it's the best place for you to grab your cocktail want the best burger in the house we have it guys burger joint is the place to be with a variety of burgers every single one delicious you gotta try it. It's a pretty big space, don't you think? You can sit around, enjoy a burger, 
They also have a salad bar where you can add toppings to your burger and everything is delicious. And the best part, Guy's Burger Joint is included with the ship fare so you can have as many burgers as you want. Now heading to Club O2, a club where teens aged 15, 17 can have their fun and enjoy some music, play some video games as well, and even have their own party. Still part of the Club O2, they have this outside area. Here's the smoking area. Here again. The cozy <laughs> Before heading to deck 16, here on deck 17, the very back of the ship, we have this lounging area with gorgeous furniture where you can hang out and enjoy the view of the tides pool. Now going down deck 16, we have the tides pool, this beautiful infinity pool featuring two large whirlpools on both sides of it. And ah, another breathtaking view of the ocean. I already talked about the best burger in the house, but if you're a fan of chicken, big chicken is the place to be. Simply delicious chicken sandwiches, and it's also included with the ship fare. I mean, fried chicken is the best option for me, but you can also get grilled chicken upon request. Right next to it, there's a refreshment station and a salad bar where you can add more toppings and sauces to your sandwich. Now we are at the marketplace, the place where you can have your complimentary breakfast, lunch and dinner. Here we have the beverage stations with the soda machine if you have at least purchased the soft drinks package, but they have complimentary drinks as well and coffee and tea. And you can get your food from a few different food stations. And now I'm back, back, back at the Lido again but this time from deck 16, which is the main deck of the Lido. Mm -hmm. 
She's so nice. Don't forget to pick up your towel. Now I'm back at the Red Frog Tiki Bar and honestly this is the best place to be and I'm just gonna grab a drink. Aloha to you too! Still here around the Lido we have the Blue Iguana Cantina where you can grab your taco, you can choose from the fish, chicken and pork options and they also have a salsa bar where you can like spice it up your tacos and have a tasty bite. And here the Lido have so many food options and the street eats is no different. We have the mad sizzle where you can grab your kebabs and have a bite of something different. We have steam dream where you can grab some beef and tofu. And I gotta say, one of the best fries I've ever had here at Time Fries. These fries are simply delicious with some meat on top and some carbonara sauce. Yummy! Right next to Street Eats, we have Seafood Shack. Even though Street Eats has no extra cost, here at Seafood Shack, you gotta pay extra for that lobster roll, for that shrimp basket, for that crab cake. Yeah, baby. Now on deck eight, I'm heading to the watering hole, the perfect bar if you wanna hang out by the patio pool here located on the aft of the ship. Another great thing that we have here in this area is those two huge spas where you can relax and it's so calm here. <laughs> I was just talking about how calm it was but just turning around the corner we have the patio pool and this guy's hanging here. Definitely not calm anymore. A special shout out to Hoffman Happy Travels, JJ Cruz, Travel Spree, and AK Adventures. Right next to the patio pool, there's an entrance to the guys being an anchor. And the outside part of the bar and restaurant where you can pick up your food and appreciate the view of the ocean. Now let's check inside the Pig and Anchor. We have the menu here with daily specials, small cases, sides, kids menu, all time favorites and desserts 
and the good thing is also all included. Well, except the beverages and alcohol. There is also a complimentary refreshment station, so if you are outside by the patio pool and you want to grab a drink or even ice cream, they have an ice cream machine, uh, you can just walk in the Pig and & Anchor and grab it. Walking on the side of the ship here on deck 8, you're gonna see the outside part of the Rudy Sea Grill. Rudy Sea Grill is part of the specialty dining, so it does have an additional cost, but the food is absolutely delicious. Continuing my walk here on the side of deck 8, we have the outside part of the Cucina de Capitano and I'm gonna show you inside it right now. Cucina de Capitano is part of the specialty dining and has an additional cost, but the food is delicious. Who doesn't love Italian food? Hi Rob! Oh and you have to try the chicken parmesan, it's huge! And we're gonna have another vlog with our experience at the Cucina de Capitano coming out soon. Here at La Piazza we have the Pizzeria de Capitano and we have delicious paninis. You gotta try those! Bar de la Rosa is also part of the La Piazza area and there is also an outside part where you can grab your drink and enjoy the view and the breeze. You can also enjoy the view and the breeze right here in this area, right outside the La Piazza. Grab your pizza at the Pizzeria del Capitano, your panini at Piazza Panini, and just come outside. Now let's talk Japanese. I'm no, just kidding, <laughs> I don't talk Japanese. Arigato, sayonara! <laughs> Sushi, bonsai sushi, oh my god, this is the best sushi I've ever had. I love in all carnival cruises and this one is no different. They also have the bonsai tipaniaki, both for an additional cost. We had such an amazing time at the bonsai tipaniaki, delicious food. The video is already out on our channel so you can check our experience at the bonsai tipaniaki and the bonsai sushi video is coming out soon as well. Right in front of the Bonsai Sushi in Tepaniaki, we have this amazing view of the center stage. Now let's talk Chinese, or maybe Spanish. How about both? That's right, because Shibang is a mix of Chinese cuisine and Mexican cuisine, and has a large variety of food from each one. The restaurant is also part of the specialty dining, and it has an additional cost. We had a great time at Shibang, and a video of our experience will be coming out soon. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Now let's take a quick look at the Havana State Rooms and Suites, simply because they have some awesome perks that I want to show you. The private bar, the private lounging, the private pool. I'm gonna show you in a little bit.
Now let's walk into the Havana bar. This bar has some absolutely gorgeous decoration and furniture and it's beautiful. There is a stage where at night there are some um, Cuban style parties happening and everyone is welcome even if you're not part of the Havana. This room is so cute, I feel like I'm in Cuba. Can I have some rum? I have to say I am obsessed with this wall. I want to have a wall just like this one in my house. It's beautiful. Such a good taste and decoration. This room is gorgeous. Say hey, Rob. Hey. <laughs> hey, Rob. Now let's go back to the Havana guests perks. We have this exclusive area and you have to show a Havana wristband to get in. Once you're in, they have this exclusive bar and some lounging area with these beautiful chairs. And finally, this gorgeous Havana infinity pool right on the side of the ship. It's very shallow though. I'd say it's more like a spa, whirlpool kind of thing. Now heading to the Mardi Gras theater. This is where all the Broadway style shows happen. And we had such a good time here. Since there are no cameras allowed at the casino for the privacy of the players, I decided to put up some pictures and give you out some information. They have a great bar that is open till late night, that's where I go for my late night cocktails, lots and lots of slot machines and table games, and the casino is also divided into a non-smoking side and another side where smoking is permitted. Still on deck 7, right outside the casino, you have this great view of the center stage where you can grab a drink at the Grand View Bar and enjoy the show. Still here at Grand Central Deck 7 and we have my red couch, yes that's my red couch and there's a lady sitting on it. What are you doing sitting on my couch girl? Yes I'm taking that couch home because I'm obsessed with it. And There's a show going on at the center stage where you can watch here from the second level of the atrium. Right around the corner we have the carnival store and I promised Rob that we weren't spending a lot in merchandise but that's not how we went. <laughs> and we actually ended up buying two backpacks, two hats, four t-shirts, the Mardi Gras ship, the magnets, um, this little bag that uh, you can attach to the backpack and what else? A frame, I think that was it. 
By the way, we have an exclusive video coming soon to our channel showing the official opening ceremony of the Carnival store here on the Mardi Gras where they were open for business for the first time ever. So don't miss that one out. Another place where you can party till late night is the Limelight Lounge and it was so much fun hanging out here every night uh, grabbing my drinks, dancing with a bunch of people and enjoying the music And trust me, this place was packed every night. Well, hello! I'm saying, this ship has endless places to grab a drink from. Let's talk now about the Alchemy Bar. This is an awesome bar with great cocktails, with great people, and talking about great people, the Alchemy Bar holds the LGBTQ meetings on some of the nights, so it's just a super fun place to mingle and socialize. Another beautiful lounging area here and did you notice the carpet has chemical elements on it, it's just brilliant. Here at the Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse where you can have your piece of heaven, I mean your piece of steak at its best. This steakhouse is part of the specialty dining and it has an additional charge and just make sure as soon as you walk in the ship to make your reservation because they'll be gone quick. And how about some red wine along with your steak? They have a large variety of wines and it's the perfect combination. Right across the steakhouse they have the Dreams Studio where you can reserve a time with a professional photographer to capture all your memories for an additional cost. And now I'm here at the main dining room, the Palm Restaurant. This is an absolutely gorgeous restaurant where you can have a breakfast and dinner. When you book, choose early dining or late dining for reserved seating nightly or go with your time dining to chow whenever the clock strikes hungry. Here you can have steak, roast duck, scallops and prime rib. And the Palm Restaurant is included in your cruise fare. And now I'm heading down to deck 6, remember the Palm Restaurant is on deck 6 and 7, so I'm gonna have some more of the Palm Restaurant down here on deck 6. Here on deck 6 we have the Carnival Kitchen, where you can learn to cook some delicious dishes and desserts along with a chef and eat right away for an additional cost. Mm. 
Carnival could not build a French Quarter without an Emerald restaurant, right? So here we have the Emerald's Bistro 1396 where you can find the best of the Creole cuisine and enjoy the authentic Bayou flavors. And here they serve breakfast, lunch and dinner for an additional cost. And here at the French Quarter, we also have the Fortune Teller Bar. This is a super cool bar with delicious and unique cocktails that I'm gonna show you in a bit. And I actually had all three of those cocktails and my favorite was the abracadabra. Right next to the fortune teller, there is the Flamingo restaurant, another venue for the main dining and it's also included with the cruise fare. Last but not least part of the French Quarter, it's the Brass Magnolia featuring live jazz, blues from the resident band while you enjoying a classic cocktail. And finally, we're here on the first level of the atrium on deck six, right in front of the center stage, where you can enjoy some of the shows, such as Dio or No Dio. This center stage is absolutely gorgeous from the top to bottom. And during the day, the screens actually opens up to see the outside. There is this bar where you can grab your drink and watch your show. Lots of seating along this area with comfortable couches and you can see the show from anywhere you sit. Craving for candies? Cherry on top, have them. They also have some collectibles some toys it's just a delicious store <laughs> want some coffee on the go here on java blue cafe you can grab your coffee refreshment all complimentary also here at java blue cafe you can grab the best breakfast sandwich ever they also have pastries and specialty coffee for an additional cost they also have a grab and go section and don't forget to purchase the vessel series collectible mug near the center stage on deck six, we have the fun shops featuring a watch store and some cosmetics and perfumes. Also handbags and all kinds of ladies needs. I'll 
heading to the other side of deck 6 we have the piano bar 88 with some live music You can sing along and request your favorite song to the pianist Across the piano bar, there is the Punchliner Comedy Club, where they have comedy shows for adults only and for the whole family. Moving forward on deck 6 and mostly going down to deck 5, we have the Cloud9 Spa. Guests staying in one of the Cloud9 state rooms have exclusive access to the Thermo Spa and the Talosol Therapy Pool, but you can also purchase a day pass or a length of cruise pass to have access to it if you are not staying in one of those rooms. All the other services offered at the Cloud9 Spa have an additional cost. Finally, we're headed to Dr. Seuss Book View, where kids can enjoy some storytelling and read books. There is also the Camp Ocean. In this area, kids are divided into penguins, aged 2 to 5, stingrays, aged 6 to 8, and sharks, aged 9 to 11. There's a lot of space where kids can enjoy the toys, sit one of those bouncing horses, play mini basketball, or pretend to be a master chef. Everything is so much fun. There is also the Build-A-Bear workshop for an additional cost and this huge lounging room where kids can watch a movie and play video games. Finishing our tour, we have the Family Harbor exclusive lounge for guests staying at one of the Family Harbor state rooms featuring a food court with refreshments, lots of lounging and TV rooms where the family can enjoy some movie time all here on deck 4 and that's all if you're seeing this picture thank you so much for watching this video it means a lot i put a lot of work into it and please leave us a like a comment and subscribe if you haven't bye bye for now